This video will cover how to complete the work search requirement for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, or PUA. Beginning May 23, 2021, claimants receiving benefits from any Arizona unemployment program will be required to complete work search activities during every week in which they file a claim. To be considered eligible to receive benefits from any unemployment program in Arizona, you must engage in at least four work search activities on at least four different days during every week in which you file a claim. DES understands that preparing for a return to the workforce often involves more than simply applying for a job, which is why the department accepts a variety of work search activities to fulfill your weekly work search requirement. You can view the list of work search activities at des.az.gov forward slash work hyphen search. If you were self-employed prior to your unemployment, you may also complete the following activities to fulfill the work search requirement. Report documented efforts to expand your business beyond the services typically performed, including attending a webinar or workshop to develop business-related skills or learn a new marketable trade. Report documented efforts to market your business to new and reasonably available customers, including submitting bids or proposals or making cold calls to former or potential clients. Access small business services with the Arizona Commerce Authority. To get started, log into your PUA account at pua.azdes.gov and file your weekly claim like usual. When filing your claim, you will get to the section regarding work search. The first question that will be asked is if you completed work search activities for the week in which you are applying for benefits. Once you click yes, you will then be asked to provide information regarding the work search activity. Here's how self-employed individuals can document how they sought work during the filing week. If you promoted your own business through email blast, you would put your information down in the block like this. If you used social media to promote your business, complete the block like this. If you contacted potential clients over the phone, fill out the block like this. If you contacted potential clients in person, fill out the block like this. If you completed another type of approved work search activity, like building your resume or attending a workshop, enter the activity under the Employer Information tab, then submit the relevant information under the Contact Information, Job Title, and Application Information sections. Now let's fill out a non-self-employed work search. First, fill out the Employer and Contact Information sections. You will then be asked to enter in the job title. Type in the most relevant answer. Mark that you are interested in the position and that you contacted the employer. Be sure to enter any dates that pertain to your work search activities. This section is not required if it is not relevant. Once you complete an entry, you will be brought to a page where you'll see three different sections. Job search status, your recorded job contacts, additional job contacts. The first two sections will populate based on your submitted work search activities. The job information you entered will be posted under your recorded job contacts. You may view the information by clicking on the job title and you can update the entry by clicking on the update status link. Once you add enough work search activity entries, the red X's under the job search status will become green checks. In order to get those green checks, you must complete at least four work search entries. To start a new entry, click yes next to the would you like to add additional contacts not listed above question under the additional job contacts section. Once you complete your final work search entry, Go down to the Additional Job Contact section and click No. 
You will then be prompted to confirm all the information you entered is accurate, and you can submit your claim. Claimants receiving benefits from any program who fail to meet their work search requirements will be disqualified from receiving benefits until they have returned to work and earned eight times their weekly benefit amount. DES and Arizona at Work have no-cost employment services to help you prepare for and obtain gainful employment in Arizona's workforce. Visit an Arizona at Work office or schedule an appointment to meet with a workforce specialist from wherever you are online at workappointment.azdes.gov or by calling 1-833-762-8196. Visit the Arizona at Work events page to sign up and attend free job fairs and workshops to help you fulfill your work search requirements. To learn more about Arizona's unemployment work search requirement, please visit des.az.gov forward slash work hyphen search.